G'day guys and girls. Got another Hemi. These things are getting so popular at the moment. This is uh, Dan's Charger. Old school muscle, this thing. Very, very age uh, or era appropriate, I believe. Couldn't have picked a better engine to drop in one of these. Runs like a clock, smooth as. Uh, this one came to us for a tune and um, when we stuck it on the dyno, we found a few issues, the VVT not working. Um, there's a whole string of things that weren't working right. So we got to work, you know, pulled the manifold off, pulled the uh, VVT solenoid out, and unfortunately we found a bit of metal in there. Engine had about 2,000 Ks in the clock. It was actually a crate engine. And um, as you can imagine, the customer was uh, quite disappointed when we found the metal in there. So um, pretty much... At that point, the decision was made to pull the engine out and, you know, just, just for the sake of it, just, just pull it apart, check it, check the bearings. And what we found was the bearing clearances were like super tight to the point where it was actually scuffing the bearings. And for a brand new engine, you don't want that happening, especially with 2000 Ks. So we made a decision to pull it out, re-clearance all the bearings. And um, while we're at it, you know, Everyone knows these things by now. Get rid of that MDS system, get rid of the camshaft. Uh, they're the, the problematic items. So we ditched them in favor of a cam motion, Titan 1 camshaft, which is a 221, 227 on a 114. Um, quite a nice cam, works really well with factory idle settings. Um, when I say settings, have factory idle RPM, which is 650 RPM. Chugs along quite nice, gives the car the sound that it needs. And um, yeah, look, it, it worked out pretty good. Bearing in mind, this does have a torque flight transmission in it and a very loose converter. So a baseline was 225 kilowatts for 35 newton meters of torque. Not that impressive when you look at it compared to the, um, you know, the 300s or the Cherokees, but you know they've got a much more efficient transmission and a lock-up converter where this thing's got a big, dirty, loose converter that's pretty much, you know, flaring up to about four and a half grand and then it goes. So um, that is kind of responsible for the lacking in power on the dyno, even though it should show more, you know, out in the track, the mile an hour will certainly um, show what it truly is making. So, but after the uh, camshaft change, 306 kilowatts, 516 Newton meters. So, you know, that's, a, that's an impressive gain and you can see it across the whole rev range. Pretty much from the moment you get up it, it's on. Um, you know, what's that work out to be there? So that's like 200 and, 205 kilowatts versus, you know, 255 kilowatts. So, you know, my maths isn't the best, but you know, it's around that 50 sort of kilowatts. So, and it looks like it's the whole way. And as you approach the top end of the RPM range, then the, the increase continues to go. And the, the best part about these I love uh, the most is that the torque is, um, yeah, in factory form, you can see it here coming up, peaking at about sort of 5,000 revs. I think it's about 5.2, to be honest with you. Um, and then rolls off quite quickly, where with the camshaft in it now, um, we are still rolling off, and that is expected. However, it's not rolling off as much. You know, you're going from 516 newton meters back to, say, 450 newton meters, where pre previously it was like 400 and whatever, 435 newton meters back to, you know, almost 300 and something. So, you know, quite a fair bit of a torque drop. So car should feel absolutely fast as on the road. It'll be a weapon, big converter, so it should just torch the tires, which is good. That's what you sort of want in a car like this, when we to just jump on it, smash the tires, a bit of Fast and Furious action. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And we'll, uh, yeah, Got some dyno footage coming up and we'll try and stick some of the build photos in there as well. Won't be um, awfully too in depth, it is a standard engine, but you know, we'll stick in as much as we can and give as much info as, uh, as possible. Thanks again, catch you next time.